Hello and welcome to another short tutorial. This time we're in Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to remove shine from a face if you have managed to get some reflective light on a portrait or a headshot that you've captured and you need to remove that. We have here an image in which the subject has a certain amount of shine, particularly on the forehead, and I'm going to show you how to remove that using a technique called frequency separation. Frequency separation is basically just a separation of the detail of the image from the tone and colour of the image, so that we can work on the tone and colour without affecting the detail, therefore leaving the subject's skin texture intact even though we change the brightness and remove some of the shine so let's see how to do that now so the first thing that we do is we're going to duplicate the background layer and i'm doing that on windows with Control j just do that twice and i'm going to name these layers by double clicking on the layer name i'm going to call the middle one blur and the top one, Detail. So as the name suggests, we're going to apply a blur to this layer and the objective of this is to make the blur just sufficient so that it takes away the texture and we'll leave the texture then on the top layer. So in this case, we go to Filter and we go to Blur and apply a Gaussian Blur We'll select an area of the skin to have a look at and the, the objective is to move the radius of the blur just high enough so that you're taking away that detail that's on the skin because we want to leave that in the top layer. So I think really somewhere between 5 and 6 pixels seems to work for this image. It depends on the resolution of your image and you just need to find it yourself. So we'll say OK to that and that will apply the blur. We can see it if we just take away the top layer. You can see that it has blurred out the texture of the skin. So moving now to the top layer, we're going to use a technique called Apply Image. In the Image menu here, we go down to Apply Image and there are some settings that we need to, to um, put here. So first of all, let's pick the layer that we want to compare with in this case it is the blur layer we want the channel to be RGB and we want the mode here to be subtract that will allow us to capture the difference between the blur and the normal layer and therefore we'll be left with the detail in the top layer Okay, so it's hard to see it, but the, the detail of the image um, without the colour and the tone is on this top layer. So we're going to change the blend mode of this layer to linear light. And you see now that the image appears back exactly the way it was. If I hold down Alt and click on the little eye for the lower layer, I can switch off the others and you can see that the, the image is exactly as it was. So now we're going to work on the blur layer, which is the one that has the tone and the color on it. I'm basically just going to zoom in a little bit so that we can work on this. So having separated out the two layers, let's work on the, on the blur layer and then we can remove the bright tones from it without affecting the detail that lies in below it. And I should say that this is purely a technique to remove the shine. If you want to remove blemishes, then that is a separate one and you probably use the spot healing brush before you start on this particular approach. Let's um, take a brush and um, let's uh, just get the size of this so it's not too small and sample the colors and tones around the area that we want to work on. I'm just holding down Alt on Windows and um, I've got the opacity set to 30 and the flow set to 30 so it's quite it's quite low really but I'll just work very gently I'm using a Wacom tablet so my pen pressure is also affecting this so I'll just sample some tone from here put a little bit in sample some tone from here just move in towards the center just make the brush slightly smaller to work down here take some tone from here 
So we've reduced that quite a bit. I'm going to also then just remove the shine a little bit from from the subject's cheeks just here. And also from the chin. So just to see what we've done, I'll just switch off the top two layers. And this is the before and the after. Now if you feel that we have flattened out the skin tones a little bit too much, the best thing to do here is to take these two layers and group them together, and just using Control G, and then we can take the opacity of that group and bring it down a bit, and you see that we can progressively bring the image back to how it was originally. So that looks pretty good to me in terms of removing the shine. Let's just look again. That's the before. And that's the after. Now, if you feel that that is a long process to set up the, the detail and the blur layers, you can record them, and, and I've done this, so let me just show you how that would work. I'll just take that um, group and get rid of it, and assume that we're starting again. I'm just going to go back to the full image. So I have recorded one, and I've called it frequency separation. If we want to create the extra two layers, I just click play on that. And there you have the two layers just automatically set up the blur and the detail. And we can now work on the blur layer. So it's just a case of stepping through the different actions that I have covered in this tutorial and recording them, calling it frequency separation. And then you can invoke that just whenever you need it. So I hope you find that useful. You can use it any time that you've managed to accidentally capture some shine when you're doing a portrait or a headshot. If you enjoyed this short tutorial, then please subscribe here and hit the bell so that you'll be notified of new videos as they are uploaded. I'll be posting a new tutorial each week so you'll build up your skills in Photoshop, Lightroom, After Effects and Premiere. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.